Episode 18, Framing Renfrey. Scarlet had to interrupt Ron from gazing at Renfrey. Ron, let's go talk to Dad and Mom, Scarlet said softly. Okay, he replied. Scarlet gripped Ron's arm. She turned her head slightly to look at Renfrey. Her eyes were full of malice. Matthew and Amber looked at Renfrey. Then they looked at each other and smiled. Let's go, Matthew said. A necklace appeared in Amber's hand. Today's the day Renfrey will be disgraced, she said. As she spoke, Amber and Matthew walked towards Renfrey. Renfrey had been waiting for Alex, but Alex did not answer her call. Renfrey, today's your elder sister's engagement ceremony. Shouldn't you give her your blessing? Matthew said with a smile. You're right, Amber agreed. Renfrey looked at them impatiently. I don't have time for this, Renfrey said. I'll take you there, Amber said, and tried to grab Renfrey's hand. But what happened next made Renfrey dumbfounded. No, Renfrey said loudly. The moment Amber fell, Matthew took the opportunity when no one was paying attention and stuffed something into Renfrey's bag. Her movements were very quick, and then she walked away as if nothing had happened. When everyone heard Amber screaming, they all turned around and looked at Renfrey. Before Renfrey could react to what was going on, Amber started to cry. Renfrey, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you, Amber said. Matthew squatted down and helped Amber up. Renfrey, how could you be like this? Amber only touched you accidentally. Why did you push her? Matthew scolded her. I didn't, Renfrey said calmly. What happened? David said loudly. At that moment, David and Scarlett walked over. Everyone was watching them. Amber, what happened to you? Scarlett asked. Scarlett, Amber accidentally touched Renfrey and Renfrey pushed her down. Matthew explained. When everyone heard this, they all pointed at Renfrey. She's too violent. She looks like she hasn't grown up yet. I really didn't expect the Harper family to have such a daughter. The voices of the crowd's criticism were like sharp blades stabbing into Renfrey's heart. Ron looked at Renfrey. In his memory, Renfrey had been a gentle person. Renfrey, we're classmates. How can you hit people? A male classmate said, That's right. A girl with a ponytail said accusingly, Renfrey heard the rebukes, and her body tensed up. I've already said that she fell down by herself. It has nothing to do with me, Renfrey said coldly. David suddenly slapped her. You ungrateful daughter, how dare you hit someone in front of so many people? He roared angrily. Everyone looked at David and then at Renfrey. They all felt that Renfrey deserved it. Uncle, don't be too angry, Ron said. I don't think Renfrey did it on purpose. Scarlet said generously. Uncle, it's okay. After all, Renfrey's your daughter, Amber said. I don't have a daughter like her, David shouted. Renfrey looked at her father expressionlessly. Do you really think I'm not your daughter? She asked. David slapped Renfrey again. Everyone watched the dramatic scene. They thought that even if they offended Renfrey in the future, they could not offend Scarlet. Dad, don't be like this. Scarlet said. Uncle, if you need anything, just say it. Renfrey's very kind. Ron said calmly. Yes, husband, Elena said. Renfrey covered her face for a moment, then looked at her father with heartache. Scarlet and I are both your daughters, but your attitudes towards me and her are as different as night and day, she said, sobbing. David gave Renfrey an angry stare. If you were as kind as your sister, would I do this to you? He said loudly, Uncle, today's my engagement ceremony with Scarlet. Let's not do this, Ron said. Yes, my son's engagement ceremony should be perfect in every way, said Ron's mother, Alice. She's a bad daughter. She might as well not be here, Alice added smugly. Matthew, Amber, and Scarlet looked at Renfrey and were glad to have gotten her into so much trouble. Only Scarlet's friends and her mother knew the viciousness in her heart. Renfrey, you go upstairs now. Don't come down, David said loudly. Renfrey smiled bitterly and turned to look at Ron. Her eyes were full of conflicting emotions. When Ron saw this, he was a little nervous.
Scarlet looked at Ron and wished that Renfrey would leave as soon as possible. Ron? Scarlet called out tenderly. Ron came back to his senses and smiled gently at Scarlet. Just as he was about to leave, he was suddenly stopped by Matthew. Renfrey, wait a minute! Matthew shouted. What else do you want to do? She said with resignation. Matthew walked up to Renfrey and took out a bracelet from her bag. This is my bracelet. Why is it in your bag? Matthew asked coldly. Renfrey looked at Matthew in shock, and only now did she understand what was going on. Heavens, Renfrey, why are you taking someone else's things? Scarlet said, pretending to be shocked. Run also looked at Renfrey in shock. He did not believe that she could be such a person. Renfrey, did you take it? Ron asked haltingly. Other guests started chattering excitedly. I didn't expect Renfrey to be a thief. Oh yes, I knew it all along. Someone like her should be taken to the police station. Renfrey looked at them, her eyes full of tears. Renfrey, why did I even have a daughter like you? You actually dare to steal things. David roared angrily. I didn't steal anything. It was them who framed me. Renfrey shouted. If you have such a daughter, you should call the police as soon as possible, or else she'll continue to do whatever she wants in the future. Ron's mother said somberly. David felt totally humiliated, so he turned to look at two of his bodyguards. Take her to the police station. I don't have a daughter who is a thief. Uncle, please don't do this. Ron said, don't try to change my mind. He glanced at the bodyguards and said, take her away. The bodyguards seized Renfrey, who struggled desperately. If she were to be arrested, she couldn't go to school and might not graduate. Let me go, Renfrey shouted. Just as Renfrey was struggling, a cold voice sounded. How dare you touch her? <laughs>